Hello everyone. Let's see how to install Alpine Linux in uh, Raspberry Pi. So I don't have a display. I don't have a external uh, keyboard or anything to control or connect with the Raspberry Pi. I just have uh, a Raspberry Pi Model B that I bought uh, at, at, at least it is three years old now. So I chose Alpine Linux since its memory footprint is extremely low. It's as low as uh, 30 megabytes. So after I install it, uh, after I installed it, I shared my experience with Reddit, and uh, there was quite a, a good response for it. So I just decided to make a tutorial on how to install um, uh, Alpine Linux. Okay, let's uh, get started. I have installed my uh, sorry, I have inserted my memory card uh, into the into my laptop. So, um, as you can see, it is uh, it is not mounted. You can see it is there. So let's uh, let's quickly go into uh, super user mode. And uh, since most of the commands that I am going to run are um, uh, need you to have root access so I'm just going into root mode and get this so you can see the last one 29.8 GB is my memory card so you may have to note this down uh, because this is um, this will change based on your distro so i am using uh the linux ubuntu 20.04 so if you are using a different distro you may get into uh you may see a different uh name here so make sure you note it then let's do f disk I am currently modifying the partition using if disk in the uh, in my memory card and I am going to create a uh, first of all I'm going to delete all the partition uh, delete the device entirely and now I'm going to uh, create a new partition using n and it is going to be a primary partition and you you absolutely need to be careful when using if disk because if you entered a wrong value for your uh, disk name you will destroy your uh, um, hard disk you will lose all the data that's all partition number will be one let's keep it as default and the default first sector then we need to uh, create uh, you know let's create a 256 MB uh, boot partition so I will link uh, yeah I will provide a link to this uh, wiki page in Alpine Linux where uh, they provide almost all the commands that I am currently running is available in their wiki page so i am creating a new partition but this partition have to be uh, the partition type have to be uh, windows 95 so let's uh, change the partition uh, type by using command p and you can see all the uh, code here and you need uh, windows 95 fat 16 this is the format supported by Alpine Linux on Raspberry Pi. So this is the code that is C. So let's enter C. So the type of the partition is changed from Linux to Windows 95 FAT32. Now I'm going to create another partition. It is also going to be a primary and I'm going to uh, modify this uh, partition too. And we are going to go with the defaults here. 
uh, if you want to create more partition you can like you can enter the size of that partition and add another partition but uh, since it is a uh, it is going to be used in your raspberry pi i i am not going to do anything and just create a, uh going to use the rest of the memory card so yeah this uh, for this partition you don't have to change the uh, partition name uh, uh, sorry the partition type which is uh, linux you don't have to change it and yeah we have to create one um, uh, bootable partition so which is going to be the first partition the 256 mb partition will be our boot partition and the boot flag is enabled and now we are going to write the commits so uh, whatever the changes that we have done so far is not uh, written to the disk actually so when i uh, enter w and uh, press enter only then it will be actually written to the sd card now everything is done so let's see uh, again it's So now you can see there is two uh, partition here as per our uh, uh, configuration we can see windows 95 532 and here linux partition here so now we just have to create uh, actual uh, we have written the partition table but now we have to write the actual uh, dos file system in k dos fs f32 so this is going to be my first one sdc1 so the 256 mb partition uh, is created and another partition which is going to be xt4 this is my second partition so everything is done now let's mount the so it may take some time yeah everything is done here so let's uh, mount uh, the memory card so, yeah i already have a, a sd1 directory you can if you just follow along uh, you may not find this error i am going to mount mount the sdc1 to my i am going into the sd1 directory so it is an empty directory now we have to download the alpine linux uh, image from the uh, from the alpine linux page so i am on alpine linux uh, home page a downloads page and i am just going to download the arm hf so if you are on uh, if you have a newer uh, 64 bit raspberry pi uh, that is 4b for uh, raspberry pi 4 you can download this image since i have the the much older version i am going to download this i already have the files uh, in my downloads directory so i'm just quickly going to the command line and yeah let's extract our hcf yeah i'm going to extract this like okay you may or may not encounter this error but if you do encounter this one you just have to call the uh star with the uh, no same owner flag to encounter this error cannot uh, change ownership to uid something then you just have to uh give this command uh give this flag to tar um, before doing that i just have to clean this directory so i'm just going to delete all the files in this directory now you can see this is an empty directory um, the boot partition is mounted here 
and now I'm just going to extract with the no same owner flag. So XVF. So whatever the version that you download, you just have to enter the file name here and provide the no same owner flag. So yeah, it is uh, kind of completed, but uh, you have to like uh, we have to add another patch that is available in github repo i will leave the link in the description just uh, download that uh, so you just have to copy it to the current directory you can find the link in the description to, to this page and you just have to download this uh, headless.apk ovl so this file uh, just have to be in the um, in the root of the uh, uh, boot partition so i'm just going to copy this file to the mount directory so okay let's quickly copy that uh, overlay to the boot directory it will be in headless yeah here so i'm just copying that file from there to the sd cards uh, boot directory boot partition so you should have uh, that file over here okay so you just have to after extracting the zip file from alpine linux you just have to download this uh, overlay and keep it in the um, boot directory and uh, that's all now you just have to uh, insert this file this sd card into your uh, raspberry pi and uh, you will get alpine linux so yeah i'll just uh, insert this sd card and i'll see you in a moment okay i just uh, inserted the sd card to raspberry pi and uh, booted it and let's find the ip address of the raspberry pi you can use arp scan and uh, so you can see my raspberry pi got assigned with uh, this ip so i'm just going to do uh, I'm just going to connect to it using SSH. So we no longer need uh, root access. So it's going to exit from root. And SSH root at 92.68.1.38. So I already have it in my uh, posts so um, i am just going to delete this uh, known post and now i am going to ssh into the device root at 192.168.1.38 arp scan so it will last for the uh, as for saving the host to your uh, known hosts so it's going to yes yeah now we are in uh here ssh into alpine Linux. so there is not a lot of things installed up front so uh, before doing anything you can uh, set up alpine so using the setup alpine command you will see uh, that different uh, keyboard layouts so currently i am in india so you again and i have the english keyboard so let's keep it as local host
we are going to initialize to the zero and we are going to keep it same uh, so most of the things will be like uh, the default values will be fine so we are i don't have to modify anything i'm going to do that so minus name zero is fine so i'm going to add a password select a strong password so i am in is here as for the time one time zone so we have no proxy let's run the bc box i'll just keep the default one so this is for uh, setting the time automatically the ntp and i'm going to say detect and add fastest mirror so it will take some time to detect or uh, to just ping all the servers and uh, find the fastest one So we are currently using OpenSSH. So we are going to install it to our uh, uh, memory card. This media slash MMC block uh, 0 p one is our uh, uh, memory card's second partition. So we just have to give Y. So so for this one you don't have you should not use the uh, default option which is n you just have to enter y uh, to install the alpine linux to your uh, sd card we have to run it from mmc blk zero So here uh, there is plenty of things to choose from. So if you want to run your Raspberry Pi as uh, like you want to connect uh, display and something, or if you want to use it like a desktop, you can just select Sys. Or if you uh, just want it as uh, like diskless. It, it will just uh, the boot partition will just uh, load itself into the RAM and uh, everything will run from RAM itself. So we you can do that if you really want it, but I am just going to go with the traditional sys method. So you just have to enter sys here. So it will take some time. So it will create the file system for us. And currently it is uh, uh, adding and adding partitions and uh, setting the boot flag everything for the that particular memory card. It will take some time depending on your memory card's write speed. So mine is uh, a really cheap one and it will take quite some time. Yeah, the installation is completed and now we just have to reboot. So it will disconnect. Uh, from the SSH since the Pi is shut down 
and we can connect it uh, connect it again once it is rebooted so in the meantime it will show just uh, action refuse or something until the open SSH server is started it will show uh, connection refused once it is booted you can just uh, it. so the password that you set uh, at the boot uh, at the installation time will be asked now you just have to enter it and that's all alpine linux is installed and uh, you don't have to run this setup like alpine again so the first time i installed it i got confused whether it is installed or not and i did it few times so don't do that it is just uh we can if you don't want this message to be shown at the boot time you can just uh, edit this file so that's all so if you want to uh install any packages you can use apk so this is the package manager it is like uh, apt for uh, it is similar to apt file manager sorry package manager for alpine linux so i am just going to apk and the first thing i am going to add is curl so yeah now you have a uh, client control similarly you can install anything you want i configured my previous pi uh, and uh, installed nginx so uh, i'm currently serving a website from there but uh, you can do anything you want let me show you the memory usage i'm going to install htop so, yeah it stops installed so the installation process is super quick and when nothing is running as you can see it just consumes 23 megabytes of ram so it, there is not a lot of things going on here you, you can see there are very few processes running so i would suggest you to create uh, a new user and uh, disable root login if you are concerned about the security one that's all